Today in crypto, Bitcoin could be facing a deeper sell-off as whales have finally started cashing out of their positions. How low can Bitcoin go? Is $15,000 a reasonable target or could we even see lower prices than that? Also, I have some super bullish news regarding a massive $275 billion fund taking the plunge into Bitcoin, which is a great reminder that even if the sell-off gets worse in the short term, that this is still a mega bullish market overall and we are still in the bull trend. My name is Lark and this is where you subscribe for all of the hottest and all of the latest happening out here in the wild island of crypto. By the way, if you are not yet signed up for Wealth Mastery, the weekly investor report, then you absolutely should consider getting signed up. Every week, the team and I will send you a deep dive report on a hot altcoin, top tier technical analysis, a trending coin report, stock tips, a DeFi tutorial, an interview with an industry leader, the latest token sales and airdrops, and so much more. All of that for less than 10 bucks a week, making this one of the most affordable and value-packed weekly investor reports on the market. Just click on the link down below in the description to learn some more details about that or to get signed up. Okay, so let's talk about Bitcoin. Bitcoin is currently sitting around $17,700 after finding a nice little double bottom on the four hour chart. It is having a, a bit of a bounce, you know, and then kind of hitting that stiff resistance at $18,000. The question though on investors' minds right at this very minute is what happens next for Bitcoin? Well, no one totally knows what's going on. We can certainly look and see some ideas from the charts. Are we going to be in for some more price pain or was this really the extent of the correction and the moon is still coming soon? Well, let's have a look at a few things here to help give us an indication on where the market could be headed. The first scenario, we want to see Bitcoin break $18,500. That is the major area overhead for Bitcoin right now. We saw a lot of price consolidation in that area before we tested the all-time high for Bitcoin. Obviously, that test failed. We will, of course, see Bitcoin crack that price at some point. The question is, when is that going to happen? Are we going to build momentum up soon? or later. Until we do see that crack though, we do want to see Bitcoin maintaining above $16,500. That is where we saw a lot of buyers recently come in, scoop up that Bitcoin the other day following the dip. We can see that's a strong area of demand by buyers. It's a very important area for us to be holding in the short term. But what becomes a more likely probability? I think considering the, the fall off in volume that we've seen over the last couple of days is a potential further downside for Bitcoin. Now the fall in volume shows that buyers have less and less conviction right now. They're not buying up the cheap Bitcoin at $17,700 in the same way they were a week ago because they anticipate further downside for BTC. What we are seeing really could be little more than a dead cat bounce at this moment, which is basically a short recovery after a correction and before a further downside in an asset. So the second scenario could actually look something like this. Bitcoin could drop a further 16% to hit support on the 50 day moving average. This would be right around $15,000. I think that is our really big line that we're watching out for right now. If this does indeed play out, then it would be a total of a 24% retracement for Bitcoin. Now, to be honest, that's still a bit of a shallow retracement compared to some of the historical corrections of 30 or 40%. So, you know, in the past, we've seen those really brutal corrections. And you know what? Maybe that means this time is a little bit different because of all these macro factors. This correction might just be a shallower correction compared to history because we have these big buyers and the hedge funds and all that stuff going on. But what if it isn't? Well, let's consider an even further decline for Bitcoin. $14,000 is a very, very key level as it is the top for the 2019 rally. If we reach that price, then it will be a 28% decline, which would put us right in line 
with historical drops. An even more important line of support for Bitcoin sits at $12,500, which would constitute a 36% drop. It's actually a totally normal level of retracement for Bitcoin during a bull run. So don't get afraid if you see that. Get excited because it's a chance to buy Bitcoin. And for reference, both of these seemingly just insane retracements would actually be above the 200-day moving average, meaning that we are still firmly in the bull market, even with a retracement like that. So really just a healthy correction in an otherwise bullish market. Now let's have a look and see what the whales have been doing. We can see here on the whale cluster chart that whale support levels also line up with a lot of the key areas we're looking at. There's a big cluster of whale buys that happened around $15,300. That is just above the 50-day moving average. Again, super, super critical line, the 50-day moving average. There's also a big cluster around 13,700, and that's, of course, near that key resistance from 2019. Now, to give some further evidence that the sell-off may not be over, it seems that the Bitcoin whales have been cashing out of their positions. So accounts holding a thousand or more Bitcoin started selling their Bitcoin after Bitcoin crossed over $19,300. Now, many of these high net worth guys sold so much of their Bitcoin, in fact, that they're no longer in the whale category of holding over a thousand Bitcoin. In fact, whale sell pressure is a very likely you know, major factor that brought the price of Bitcoin down. Data from Into the Block shows that the drop in the price of Bitcoin matched almost exactly with the moment when whales transferred 93,000 Bitcoin into exchanges. We also have this data from CryptoQuant, which shows a big spike in exchange inflows as the correction started to pick up pace, meaning that a lot of holders are getting into fiat in anticipation of a further drop. They wanna lock in those profits and try and scoop up cheaper BTC. Anyway, my guess at this time is that we are gonna actually see more selling pressure for Bitcoin over the next week or two. Maybe it doesn't come to pass, but looking at the technicals, I feel like that is kind of the direction we're heading in. However, if we do see a bigger sell-off, then just know this, it's bullish selling. This is bullish selling. People selling is a bullish thing. What, what WTF, Lark? What are you talking about? Well, it's bullish because the time to stack sats under $20,000 is not going to last forever. It's bullish because the macro picture has not changed for Bitcoin. If you're watching that four-hour chart or that day-to-day -day chart, it can mess your head up sometimes. In fact, there's a big story today that serves as a reminder why any dips on Bitcoin should be bought. The Guggenheim Macro Opportunities Fund, which is a $5 billion investment fund, which is part of the bigger $275 billion global investment firm, wants to buy some Bitcoin. That is a damn, damn big deal. Now, on Friday, Guggenheim Macro filed an SEC amendment allowing them to invest up to 10% of their fund into Bitcoin via Grayscale's GBTC. Now, a 10% investment from these guys would be about $500 million worth of Bitcoin. It would actually end up being the biggest holding in their macro fund, with the second biggest holding only being worth $200 million. So obviously that, if they do go the whole 10%, that shows a lot of confidence in Bitcoin. Now, just because the price is down a bit from, you know, like last week or whatever, it may even go down a bit further. You just have to remember the big picture. This is an incredibly scarce asset, which is seeing a historic level of investment by some of the biggest funds and the biggest macro investors in the world. They're all making a bet that Bitcoin will moon hard in an environment of high inflation and low rates, which is exactly what we have right now and exactly what we're probably going to have for the next five years, maybe the next decade, right? If you are betting against Bitcoin on any kind of longer time frame, then you are betting against math and you are betting against the best funds and the best investors in the world. That's a losing bet, man. Don't take that bet. Don't take that bet. Buy Bitcoin, add Bitcoin on dips. If it dips more, add more. And then you hold it. You stack sats, you chill. 
just relaxing, man. Just relaxing. It's really that easy. Anyway, just my two stoshis, of course. Your question for today. Do you think that Bitcoin is going to go down to some of the levels that I mentioned in today's video? Or because everyone's expecting Bitcoin to go down, maybe it's just going to do the opposite and moon super hard. <laughs> Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Long live the blockchain and peace out till next time.